Hey guys, Jay from STNF. Uh, what we're going to talk about today is the wall sit, which I'm sure all you guys know about. Uh, but what I want to show you guys is, is a couple of variations to the wall sit. So first, I got Dave here. He's going to help me out. Uh, he's going to go into just a regular wall sit. And when we do this, the first thing that we have to do is sit up nice and tall. Uh, you don't want to hunch over and collapse the chest over here because that's going to shut off your core. So we're going to keep the chest up, like you at the beach, you're showing off. Uh, keep the core nice and tight. The other thing is a lot of times people will go into the wall sit and they'll have their feet way too far apart. You want your feet to be right under your hips. Uh, a lot of times people go way too wide and that's not going to hit the correct muscles um, in the right fashion. Uh, the other thing that people do wrong is they'll put their, their weight on their toes a lot. Well, when the weight goes on your toes, what happens is all the, all the force that's coming out is shooting out through the knee joint. So to put the weight, the weight onto the heels is going to be better for you to activate a little bit more of the glutes, hamstrings, uh, and the quads. Right? So that's obviously the, the standard wall sit right there. Knees are at 90, and that looks pretty good right there. But it's way too easy for Dave. So what we're going to do is have him take one leg off. All right? So he's going to come right back down, pick one leg up off the floor. It doesn't matter where it goes as long as it's not on the floor. And he's going to sit right back down. Same way, come right into 90 degrees again. Right? So that's going to make it a little bit harder for somebody more advanced like Dave. The other thing that we can do, I know you guys have all seen the, we call it the good girl, bad girl machine with the adductors where you sit in the machine uh, and you bring your knees in to, to bring the weights in. Well, it's not really too functional uh, for everyday life. You're never going to have to be in a seated position pushing the weights in uh, with your, the insides of your legs. So what we can do instead is that day go into a wall sit. And we can make a game out of this. So I'm going to put this ball right in between Dave's legs, right there, and he's going to squeeze the crap out of that ball. Okay? And if I see that he's kind of sliding off or whatever, I just come and hit this ball. So usually what I do with my clients, they'll say, okay, we got to hold that ball there for 20 hits. If I get the ball out, we got to start all over again. Okay? It's going to activate a lot more of that, that adductor group, uh, aside from just being in that seated position, bringing the, the machine in and out. Okay? So there's a couple of variations for that wall sit. If you guys have any questions, uh, feel free, please, please, we're looking for, for more uh, stuff to, to shoot videos on. So go to our Facebook page or YouTube page, leave comments, tell us what you guys want videos on, and we'll try to make it happen. Uh, check out one of the, the websites at the end of the video, and we'll see you guys tomorrow.